Hey folks, in this video I want to really show you a quick uh, tutorial about how to do, how to prompt the computer to get a randomly generated number, okay? And it's a really quick thing, but note that there are multiple ways you could do this. Uh, we, I, I mean, I think we're just going to focus right now on, frankly, the simplest way. I, I really think it's, it's the easiest way. It's going to be a one-line thing. Uh, so let's begin. It's a really quick thing. So first we want to make sure we see it. So we're just going to do the system.out.print line. <clears throat> uh, bracket. And that's for the system.out.print line. Um, now we're going to get to the random number generator. And uh, when we do the randomly generated number, uh, we want to make sure that it's not going to be, so in our specific thing, it could be different from yours, but in our specific video, we'll be looking into specifically, you know, an integer. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not going to be something like 1.2 or 2.6. There's not going to be any decimals. It's just integers. Okay? So we want to make sure we set that. And we, we do that just bracket into bracket. And, uh, yeah. So that's, we're setting the, we're getting ready to have the randomly generated number uh, syntax. And uh, the next thing we need is another pair of brackets. And inside that, whoops. So inside that, we're going to actually have our syntax for the random number. The, and that is for the following, math.random. Um, and bracket, bracket. So lots of brackets, so just make sure you... You guys just match that completely or it's not going to work, okay? This specific piece of code will get a random number between 0 to 1, okay? So if you want some sort of a range, uh, let's say you want like a range for a dice, right? Like a dice roll, right? You could do 6 or you could do 10 or you could do 12. So you just multiply. So this is the multiplication symbol multiplied by whatever uh, maximum number you want, okay? Now just note that this is still going to be between, uh, it's not going to be between 0 to 12. It's going to be between 0 to 11, okay? It's basically one number less than this. And just to fix that, <clears throat> you know, if you wanted something like 0 to 12, I mean, you could just do an additional number here. Um, and also if you don't want the 0 to 12, if you want something like 1 to 12, or 1 to, you know, 0 to 11 in this case, or 1 to 11, 12 in this case, uh, you can just do 1 plus math.random multiplied by 12. Okay, and that's going to get you the same thing, except it's not going to be 0 to 11, it's going to be 1 to 12. Okay? And then close the brackets. That's great. Let's uh, let's actually try it out. Uh, first, I think I have to clear it. So yeah, let me just clear it. So we'll, you can do this a few times. If you want to be really good, I mean, you can just use a loop for it because this is a bit repetitive. But as you can see, we're getting hopefully random numbers. Um, and so you shouldn't in this case see anything beyond. It, it should be between 1 and to 12 I believe so anything beyond that is problem but it doesn't look like that Seems uh, great so just check that out very simple piece of code I thought I'd show you uh, thought it'd be useful okay thank you guys stay tuned